Salam alaikum. Hi guys. Happy Monday. I'll wait until you guys get it. some of you guys get in here. I'm Tammy. We're gonna do positive uh, Mondays, positive Monday stories, and uh, we're gonna discuss some things that will make us feel good for the coming uh, spiritual holiday. And uh, we have some uh, uh, tips about Ramadan. And so let's just, let's get started. I just want to say I'm Tammy. I work with aboutislam.net. Um, we're really excited for Ramadan here. And um, we're busy and we're busy at home. We're busy at work. We're busy. So we will not take too much of your time. We know that uh, all of you guys are busy too. I'm currently here in the United States. I do not live here normally, but I'm here and it's very nice outside, alhamdulillah. So say hi to me in the comments. Um, where are you from? Um, is it nice there? How long do you guys have to fast for where you're from? Uh, currently where I am um, in the United States, it's a very long fast. Uh, but I will only be here for two days, inshallah, and then I will be going back to where I am from normally, and I think the fasting days are much shorter there, inshallah. May Allah accept it from all of us. So, um, I just want to talk about a few positive stories from the, of the week. Um, I'll make it quick, but please take the time, say hi, let me know uh, how you're doing today. Um, so, the stories I want to share with you can all be found on about dot, about Islam dot net. Sister Nicola is here with us too. She is actually in the comment section and she will be giving you all the links of the stories that I am talking to. Hi Hasim. Hasim, how you doing? Salam alaikum. Uh so let's get right to it. Um let's see, sorry about this. I just want to just take a look at my notes. First up, it's predicted there could be about a half a million Muslims living in Sweden, and they just got a new one. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Rania at Andersen is a goalie of the Sweden national team under 19. She recently spoke to a newspaper about her decision to convert to Islam. Hi, Maud Azim. Assalamu alaikum. And Nadia. Hi, Sister Nadia. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you? Are you excited for Ramadan? Ramadan Mubarak, Brother Mod. Um, so, yes, uh, Sister, uh, I don't want to say sister yet, but she is a sister. This is this thing. She is a, she is a goalie for, um, she is a goalie for the national team, um, in Sweden, she was introduced to Islam when she was 15 from a friend, and she has been studying it ever since. She said that despite the fact that um, her family is not really supportive and she's even getting some hate, she's really excited to be a Muslim. Um, she just she decided to convert when she discovered a side of Islam that she never knew, and she found it very beautiful. And so we're all very happy for her, subhanAllah. Alhamdulillah, and we, she says she's planning on praying, um, fasting for Ramadan, so we pray that Allah makes it easy for her and accepts her fast, inshallah. So we have, um, yeah, Nadia, I can't wait for Ramadan either, sister. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, Hamid, salam alaikum. Where are you from, Hamid? Brother Maud, salam again. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to get this name right. Salam alaikum to Brother Mustafa. I'm just going to say, I don't know your first name. Uh, Sajid, salam alaikum. And Shah Yahya, salam alaikum to you. Ramadan Mubarak. So, uh, I'm happy to see everybody today. It's a nice day. I'm happy to be with you all. Um... If you're just joining us, salams. We were talking about some positive stories that made headlines on about Islam.net this past week. Say hi to Sister Nicola and I in the comments. She's with us too. 
Yeah, I, I know. I was just asked to, asking Sister Nadia, um, Sister Nicola, actually, Nadia, about when Ramadan is is supposed to start. She says that she thinks we'll pray Tarawiyah on Wednesday night. I wasn't sure if it's Tuesday night we're praying Tarawiyah or Wednesday. I think we'll find out tomorrow more. Um, Imran Ahmed, Ramadan blessings to you. Love you all, sister. May Allah bless you here and the hereafter. Amin. Amin. Ramadan blessings to you too, brother Imran. Uh, Hamid, where, for, where am I from? I am an American, but I live um, overseas now. Um, but right now I'm actually back home I'm in uh, a northern state of New Hampshire, and it's really nice here and green, and it's nice. Okay. Um, thank you, Sahil Sheikh. Yes, I've been wearing hijab. Uh, I converted about five years ago, and about three years ago I started wearing hijab. It was on Ramadan. So just remember, if you see sisters out there that aren't wearing hijab, they're just on a different path in life, and maybe this Ramadan will be when they start wearing it, inshallah. So, um, I want to move on. I want to ask you if you have become a member of our Facebook group about Islam 101. Uh, its aim is to be a support for people learning about Islam. Uh, more and more people are uh, hearing about Islam. They are wanting to know the truth. Do I believe all of this stuff on TV? Wait a minute, I have a computer right here. Let me find for myself. So about Islam, about Islam 101 is a group that supports people that are discovering Islam um, new Muslims, you need to check it out. Sister Nicola will drop you the link. Please join us. If you want to help support new Muslims or people learning about Islam, join the group. Um, so yes, uh, speaking of our group, I'm happy to say that one of the first members of the group, uh, Mallory, she was one of the first people that joined the group. She just posted her Shahada video. So please join the group and check out Sister Mallory's Shahada video. Uh, Allah Akbar. We have, it, Islam is growing so fast. I'm so happy to see this. Um, yes. Yeah, so, okay. Let's talk about some common Ramadan mistakes. I have made a few of them. God forgive me. Um, we shared a piece this past couple of days about the 20 most common Ramadan mistakes. So I want to share with you a few of the ones that I've personally done. Um, the number one mistake listed is focusing too much on food. Okay. How is it that I can fast for 30 days and still gain weight? I'll tell you why. Because the first couple of Ramadans that I was a Muslim, I was so worried that I was going to be hungry the next day. So when I was able to fast, I ate all day, uh, all night long. I just ate and ate. And then at the, I'd, get, I'd get sick. I wouldn't feel good. I couldn't sleep good. And I gained weight. So don't do what I did. It is easy to want to fill yourself with food um, when you can eat, but it's not smart. Um, break your fast with a date and then something light like a soup. Pray Maghrib and then eat a healthy meal. This is more of a reminder to myself and not a lecture to you. Um, and then stay busy. Don't focus so much on food. At night, uh, uh, in the early morning at Sahur, eat some oats, beans, things that will stay, stay with you for a while. And water, lots of water. Drink that. Speaking of Sahur, the before the the last meal before we start fasting, this is one of the mistakes listed as well. Don't eat your sahur too early. Like you need to don't don't eat it after tarawiyah prayer. You need to try to eat your sahur as close to fajr as possible. So that is another mistake that's listed in the twenty. Another mistake some of us make, especially converts, is if we accidentally. Um, it usually happens in the first week or two. Um, we accidentally eat or drink without thinking. We're just like, take a sip of water. Oh man, I just broke my fast. No, you don't break your fast by accidentally eating or drinking. You just carry on with your fast and you don't need to make up the day. Also, you can brush your teeth with toothpaste while you're fasting. Check out the 20 common Ramadan mistakes that many of us make. Sister Nicola in the comments will put up 
uh, the link and make sure you check out all 20 of them. Uh, see if any of them uh, you've made in the past. So uh, let's see. If I'm... Shah Yahya, Ramadan is better. Eat Sunnah food. Yes, I agree. I always feel better when I'm eating food uh, that our Prophet, peace be upon him, ate. Sister Nadia, that's true. Yes. And Kev Jones, thumbs up to you. Okay. I want to take a moment to say hi to those who just joined us. Salam alaikum. How's everyone today? It's a lovely day here in the USA. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. Where are you from? Say hi. Where are you from? Uh, many of our followers that are from Asia um, use the SMS app Telegram. Have you heard of Telegram? I love it. You have to install. It's for Apple or Android. Install Telegram. I couldn't open the link. Please share after live. For the Telegram, yes. Uh, all of the links should be in um, the comments. And if not, let us know again in the comments that you tried and we'll try to put up the right link for you. Muhammad Ali says, eat lots of yogurt. Yes. Some we do by mistake, but it doesn't matter. Exactly. You guys are all very, very good. Uh, Salam alaikum. Walaikum salam, Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali is from California. He's on the West Coast. I am on the East Coast. I am in New Hampshire, which is north of Massachusetts. I am about two hours south of Canada. So I want to tell you about Telegram. We It's a great uh, app. It's 100% secure. It's fun. It has awesome stickers. It's an easy way to send files to people, photos, music files, whatever kind of files. You, they're easy to send. Um, and About Islam.net just started a channel there. So please check it out and follow us on there. We put out some really good articles on there. Um, and it's a really fun app. I think that, inshallah, you would really like it. Uh, hi, my sister, Archidine Ismail, Archidine, Salam alaikum, mashallah. Okay, so, so a huge majority of us Muslims will start fasting this week, inshallah, for Ramadan. So it's important to familiarize ourselves with what breaks our fast. So here are 10 things that will break our fast. Eating and drinking definitely breaks our fast unless it was accidental and then it doesn't. Anything that falls in the same category as eating and drinking, uh, taking medicines, pills, injections, which, which are in the form of nourishment, including blood transfusions, that breaks our fast. Um, something similar to kidney dialysis where the blood is taken out and then purified and then put back in our body, this breaks our fast. Um, Sexual intercourse, masturbation, menstruation, postnatal bleeding, um, and letting out blood like cupping or something similar to that. These all breaks our fast. But one of these things is a very serious sin. Do you know which one? I didn't know which one of these was a serious, serious sin until I read this article. So check out the link that Sister Nicola is posting in the comments. It's titled 10 Things That Will Break Your Fast. And then in this article, it will tell you about which one of those 10 things is the most serious out of it. And avoid it. Do not do this thing. And for the last bit of information today, I know there's only a few days left before Ramadan, but there's still a way we can prepare. I want to say hi to everybody first. Hi, salam alaikum. Um, Urchindine, he says, I am from Comoros Island, but I am living in Qatar. Salam alaikum from Qatar to Qatar. Nadia can't wait. I can't wait, Nadia. I'm ready. Allah guide us through Ramadan. Ramadan Bari. Allah guide us through Ramadan. This ra guide us through this Ramadan. Amin. Okay. And for the last uh, bit of information, I know there's only a few days left, but like I said, there's still a way that we can prepare. Let's take the next like 48 hours and do a few of these tips. If you haven't prepared yes, yet, don't worry. We can still like get our bodies ready.
So the next couple of days, let's eat less, but healthy. Let's start to reduce the quantity of the food, the, of the meals that we're eating. Um, change our mindset from let's like eat all we want. We're going to be fasting in a couple of days. Let's just eat lots of cookies and, and ice cream and let's eat lots of food. No, no, this is not going to help us. This is actually going to increase our appetite and it's going to make it more difficult for us to fast. So along with reducing how much food, let's to try to increase the quality of food by eating healthy food and avoiding as much salt and sugar as possible. And here is one that I really need to listen to. Stop snacking. Tammy, please stop snacking. Stop snacking and eat only your three main meals. We need to do this from now until Ramadan because it will be harder inshallah if we just if we're snackers um i'm tr i've tried to become a little bit more prepared than i have in the last few years um inshallah inshallah i'll be okay allah make it easy i mean um and i want to say sister anna abdallah hashem welcome to welcome to you sister salam from jordan i am Cro from croatia near bosnia Married and happy in Islam in Jordan. Mashallah, Allah grant you. Mashallah, Sister Anna. Salam alaikum to you, Ramadan Kareem. We're happy to hear from you. Muhammad, Brother Muhammad says, I work out for one and a half hours, about two hours before iftar. Very hard first few days. Mashallah, Brother Muhammad. This is very good. I do not have energy. But I will work on this. Okay, inshallah. Um, the third tip that we can do to prepare for Ramadan is to cut down on caffeine. Coffee lovers, headache time is upon us. We need to prepare our bodies for not having caffeine first thing in the morning. So stop right now. Like the next couple of days, do not have caffeine. Okay, you just need to start like preparing your body. Um, cause your body will go through a caffeine withdrawal. If you just stop cold Turkey, you will get a headache, it, but it will last. Your headache will last for about, I don't know, five days. And then the headache will go and alhamdulillah, it gets easier. Uh, smokers, you need to wean off the smoking a little bit, you know, it'd be best if you could quit. It's recommended any day of the year, but Ramadan would be a great opportunity. Um, but now, you know, if you if you smoke 10 cigarettes a day, try to, the next couple of days, drop it down to, let's say, five. And then the next day, drop it down to two. Um, Brother Suhail Ahmed, uh, I, none of these opinions about breaking our fast, uh, things that break our fast, are by me. I'm simply reading a fatwa that's on our website. Uh, I'm not in any position to give fatwa or talk about what does or doesn't break fast, but the, sis the sister Nicola put up a link to things that will break our fast. Um, you could read that article, or my other suggestion is if you would like to talk to a scholar, we do have um, scholars that you can ask your questions to. And they could help clarify. I think we even have an article up about brushing your teeth specifically. And it explains why. Um, Brother Muhammad says, skip a day. It feels like if, if I skip a day, it feels like I don't have fast. So it matter, it's a matter of training your body and mind to overcome. I agree. Um, Shah, Brother Shah Yahya says, read Al-Quran and Ramadan also makes you have energy. Uh, amen. I am from Malaysia. Salam alaikum. How is Malaysia? It's a place on my bucket list. I want to go there. Brother Muhammad, if you want to know what the major sin is that breaks the fast, please check out the article. It's an easy to read article and you will see clearly at the end of the 10 things which one is the most sinful. Okay, so... Going back to these ways that we can prepare, just two more tips. Um, from today, plan a sleeping pattern for Ramadan that fits in with your schedule and one that you could stick to as best as possible. For example, you may choose to go to bed earlier than normal and wake up for suhoor and begin your day and then have an afternoon nap right before iftar. But start getting in that mindset of, okay, my sleep is going to be different. I'm going to be awake. I'm going to be eating. Um, 
So yeah, plan that. The last tip uh, of these things that we can do um, is pay your doctor a visit. I know we only have a couple of days, but just ring the doctor. Hey, can I come in? I'm about ready to start fasting. Can you just give me a once over and see if I'm okay? Make sure that you don't suffer from diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, gastric reflux kind of thing. This is the time we need to check with him. So, um, Brother Hamid, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, I don't speak Arabic. I don't read Arabic. God forgive me. I'm trying. Um, so I don't know what that says, but Salam Alaikum. Brother Ramadan Barry, God bless you too. Um, God bless you and mom in Islam. Thank you so much. Amin, shukran, and for yourself too. Uh, Sister Nadia, I'm glad you're still with us, girl, and, um, Make sure you come back every Monday and talk to us. Sister Nicola will be here next Monday giving us positive stories. Um, oh, my camera. My camera's off. Okay, let me see what happened here. So, oh, okay. Sorry about that. I pushed a button by accident. Thanks for staying with me. Um, that was weird. Okay, and lastly for the day, make sure you sign up for our weekly newsletters. Once a week, usually on Sundays, we send out a newsletter with all of the best articles of the week, anything that was really popular, counseling letters, le counseling letters that maybe um, th that were very popular, whether it's ask the counselor, ask the scholar, ask about Islam, great questions, great videos, great articles are all in this newsletter. So make sure you sign up for that. And till next time, Salam Alaikum and Ramadan Kareem.